Okay guys, so I had a little bit of a problem and uh, found a very simple, very good solution for transferring large files between my uh, phone and uh, my computer. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration of uh, what this is all about. First of all, I use the phone link app to connect my uh, phone to my desktop and this way I can you know use my my phone on my my screen so we go to uh, the store and enter Wi-Fi FTP server now it has two versions a regular one and a pro I have the pro already as you can see uh, but the free version is identical the only difference is that the Pro doesn't have advertisements in it, which annoyed me. But first I tried the regular one, which I recommend to others as well. And if you like it, then you can purchase the Pro. By the way, I'm not associated to them in any ways. It only costs $1, okay, 99 cents plus tax, $1 plus something. So, but I like it a lot and it solved a lot of problems for me. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we uh, install that and uh, let me, this is like a emulator, this uh, phone link software. So here is the program. Okay, here's the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. And uh, you go to settings and you can set up a whole bunch of stuff like user ID, obviously I set myself as the G set your password and the root folder for example in my case i have the internal memory as well as the amazon uh, one terabyte uh, micro sd card you can even set select to display your uh, password so if there's no privacy issue for you and uh, even allow uh, anonymous access so no use anymore password is necessary but I, I prefer to use it like this with password so what we need to do now is start it and it gives us information here now we need to set up this FTP server on our computer so we open up the file manager go to this PC right click Add a network location. Brings up a window here. Select it. Next. And now we have to let's minimize this. Enter this information right here. So FTP 192.168.1159. And then Two, 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 one, like this. Nope, deselect it. We don't want to anonymous because it was not approved. So we have to enter username, what you set up for yourself. Oops. That's it. Next. Let's give it a name, like uh, phone. Well, it's fine. Okay, finish, and here we go. That's it. Uh, for example, just for test, I'm gonna transfer a file. I got a whole bunch of entertainment here. Let's see, pick a one gigabyte file. I just pick a folder and for speed test. This is a one gigabyte file. So basically, instead of trying to connect, connect to your uh, laptop via Bluetooth, which is one megabyte per second, you can set up this FTP server. And as you can see, a one gigabyte file about 20 plus 20, 25 seconds. And that's it. And literally, this is just for test. 996 one blah 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 
gigabyte approximately one gigabyte file that's how fast it is let's try another one something bigger two gigabyte file copy this is all wirelessly so no need to hook up uh, the cable because it's kind of irritating until you know the computer recognizes it sometimes it just charges and doesn't want to switch into data mode etc etc and with this little ftp uh, client program all that problem can be solved very very efficiently and to me personally it's a huge help when i for example record videos on my phone and uh, it's multiple gigabyte large files I always had a problem of you know transferring it and I hated the fact that I always have to hook it up via cable and the other option was basically just Bluetooth that was it and in the sharing so yeah this FTP program is, is uh, excellent it's highly configurable basically the regular and pro version difference is that at the normal regular version there's an advertisement at the bottom but again it's the same if you change anything like for example root folder and i select the the phone just activate it go back stop restart then you go to your file manager here yeah, and uh, refresh yep you see it's totally different it's a totally different thing because uh, obviously what I had on the, or have on my external micro SSD is different because I use that, this Amazon one terabyte drive for entertainment purposes. But again, if you change it, you have to stop, restart, go there, refresh, yep, and there you go. So this is one of the file folders I for entertainment I install a lot of movies when I travel I can entertain myself you know so yeah or these uh, whatever kind of files you have okay so this is just an example and that's it use it enjoy it uh, I highly recommend it if you had the same problem and uh, basically this solves that really pain in the butt uh, no <laughs> problem and also i highly recommend this uh, phone link uh, where you can operate uh, your phone both like for example i'm using my finger on my phone or i can use the mouse like this you know so work, works both ways and uh, you know, if you have, uh, have to do a demo or something or just want to use uh, your phone for dialing and listening to music or etc, etc, whatever it is, uh, you can put it on your uh, laptop or your computer screen and uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool and useful as well. Anyways, that's it for the demo and good luck to everybody. Bye! Yes, it's fucked up.